Storms brought dime-sized hail, heavy rain, and strong winds to parts of the region late today. That system moved through during the evening rush and caused flooding in Pittsburgh and neighborhoods north of the city. One of the hardest hit areas was Sharpsburg. Streets covered in mud, rocks, and other debris. Also, the floodgates along Washington Boulevard in Pittsburgh were activated during the storm. Kim Gable joins us now live with an update. Kim. Yeah, we're live along Washington Boulevard right now, Ken, and you're right. This is one of those areas that the city of Pittsburgh has to keep a very close eye on any time there's a heavy downpour. The uh, floodgates here are behind me. They are actually inoperable, the gates themselves, until further notice. So city crews have to had to actually set up uh, wooden barricades to keep drivers here safe. So here's a look at this location and a few others during and after those heavy rains today. One minute clear skies, the next pounding rain. This is a section of Route 28 during rush hour. And this is flood prone Washington Boulevard, where the lights were flashing, but the gates were not lowered. And here's Sharpsburg as the torrential rain rolled through. And all of that water eventually led to this. Streets in Sharpsburg torn up from the force of flash flooding that swept through the 6th Street corridor. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like gangbusters. I never see nothing like this. We had 20 minutes of monsoon rain and it overcome the, the sewer systems and all the water is coming from the municipalities above us. Just too much for the pipes to handle. The chief says three feet of water in the sixth and main areas alone. When we were on the deck at a restaurant by the river, you couldn't even see the river. You couldn't see the river at all. There was so much rain. First responders spent hours using shovels, brooms, and heavy equipment to move all of the debris the roads back open to traffic once again. So we do know that a couple of businesses in that Sharpsburg area had some minor flooding just in the basement area. No major injuries reported anywhere today. Uh, just as you see, a lot of cleanup in some of those neighborhoods. Reporting live tonight, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.